this begins with uh, putting the fourth finger on the first string, second fret. And then what I do here is I bar the uh, five and six strings with my index finger and put my um, number two finger here, middle one, on the fourth string, third fret. To do that. Okay. okay. If you read the tabs there, it'll say hit the this bass and, and these treble. Okay. Again. And bar on the second fret. bar so this is quite a reach because as you're um, fretting here you reach for the seventh fret fifth string with your middle finger here and then for number two number three and number four go on the eighth fret fourth string and um, second string respectively so Then you bar on the seventh fret. So coming from here, it's the same note here that was pressed by your fourth finger here. So the section starts by barring on the 7th fret and your 4th finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string. Just follow the tab. So the section starts by doing a half bar on the second fret. So if you notice, as I reach for this string here, um, fifth fret, fifth string, then I change the bar from second bar to third bar and let me execute that again
put your number one finger, second fret, sixth string, and number four, uh, first string, third fret. So when you make that shift, um, make sure you have the fourth finger here, um, second string, third fret, and number three finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Okay. So that you can do this um, chord here. So, and while you're holding that, um, you reach for this second fret, second string. Again. So first finger on the first fret, second string. That's how it begins. It's like an A minor chord. Okay, again. D7. So you form a B minor chord, um, barring on the second fret, of course. So B minor seven. So. Starting from uh, the previous section, so you slide from here, um, second fret, third string. Basically, you're forming a D major seven chord here. From do this last part here barring on the second fret I use uh, the second finger um, to reach for the fourth fret sixth string here so the reason being um, I want to use my fourth finger to hit the B here which is the uh, fourth fret third string in preparation for the next section so Another option is if you're not used to this, you can use your third finger. Um, so, and then just hit the open B instead of here. Okay.
So this uh, part of the chorus is a bit more complicated than the other sections. So let me explain why. Um, so from the previous section, I said you can hit the open B. Sorry. Jump. Okay, so um, you have to bar on the seventh fret and form um, basically an E minor seven chord. to the seventh fret. Okay. But this is quite a stretch here, right? This is an A major seven kind of so so watch this one. This is a big stretch between my second and my fourth finger. The second being on the B, which is the second fret, fifth string and reaching um, for the fourth fret second string is my fourth finger so just imagine from that position here so make sure that transition is smooth so even that is um it's not easy so B7 chord here, a broken B7. So this starts out pr sounding pretty much like the intro, so again. This is uh, where it starts to uh, the differ, so in the intro we say here from the 5th fret we use the 1st finger, 1st um, string, hitting the 8th fret, 2nd string. Forming um, a bar on the fifth. Okay. So this is tricky. So. So this is again is quite a stretch. So. Make sure that's smooth. So this um, is exactly like the second part of the intro. So barring um, the seventh fret,
So um, put your actually third finger on the seventh fret of the third string, not the fourth, but the third, and I'll tell you why. Because now you have to reach for the fourth fret of the fourth string. So and then now you have to do the um, two note of the D and F sharp. This is um, eighth fret, um, sixth, and fifth, and then seventh fret for the third string. So you form a D major um, 7 chord. Then do another D major chord. D major 7. Then harmonic 12th fret, 1st string. And then harmonic 7th fret, 2nd string. And that's it.